Hello everyone! In the previous video we've learned how to load data, how to use the orange widgets and how they communicate between each other. Naturally, the changes in one widget are immediately propagated through the workflow. We will see this better today as we will look on how to load your data and pre-process it. Preparing the data so that the programs can read it is the first and probably the most important task in data mining. Orange can read several data formats such as Excel, tab and comma separated files. Our data is normally stored in a table where the rows are called data instances or observations and the columns represent the data attributes. Today, we will continue to analyze the data coming from the Titanic disaster. Differently from the previous video, we will start from a CSV file. A CSV file contains a big table of data where each row represents a passenger of the Titanic. Each column is a feature that describes a passenger characteristic. For example, you can see the name, sex, age and many others. We will see them better in a while using Orange. Let's open Orange now. From the data panel, add a CSV file import widget to the canvas. Double click on it, click the folder icon, select import any file if you use the Windows version of Orange. Browse to the folder where you saved the Titanic full CSV dataset. Select it and click Open. You can keep the import parameter at their standard values. You will see that in the info panel it reports that there are 1309 rows, 9 features and 3 metas. But what are metas? Metas are features that Orange recognized as not useful for the data mining task. Now you can close this panel. And if you want to have additional information you can add a data info widget and connect it to the CSV file import. When you double click on it, you will find that the meta features are three text fields and there is no target. We will fix this in a while because it's an important feature to fix. Let's add a data table, connect it to the CSV widget and double click on it. You can see the first three features are colored in gold. These are our meters, the passenger name, the ticket and the cabin. Other features in white color are the passenger ID, the survival of the passenger contain containing one for survived person and zero otherwise, the P class indicating the travel class, the sex and the age are self-explanatory, SIB SP indicating the number of siblings or spouse on board. PAR CH indicating the number of parents or children on board. The fare paid for the trip. And finally, the embarked indicating the port where the passenger was embarked. C stands for Cherbourg, Q for Queenstown, S for Southampton. As you can see, there are several rows that contain a question mark. This is a missing data that we should take care in our data preprocessing step. Orange will help us to perform the task. Let's start by selecting and inputting the correct feature type to each column. Let's add a select column widget to the canvas. You can find it in the transform panel. Let's connect it to the CSV widget and double click on it. Here you can find all the features in the dataset with their type. N for numerical, such as the age, fair, etc. C for categorical, such as sex, embarked and survived. Meters are indicated with NS that stands for string. Let's put our features in the correct boxes using the arrows. We need a list of features, a special feature called target or class, 
that uh, our data mining algorithms will try to predict and classify. In our case, it is the survived feature. Let's put it in the correct box, if not already there. And in the last list, we have our meta features. Since the passenger ID is not informative for us, our task, and it may create problems with our algorithms, let's keep it in the ignore box. OK, now we have our selection of features, classes and metas. Now that our data is correctly inputted to the correct classes, let's preprocess the dataset. As you may remember, we still need to remove the missing data. We can do it by using the preprocess widget from the transform panel. Let's connect it to the select columns widget and double click on it. Find the input missing values preprocessor and double click on it. Here you can find various actions to take when there is a missing value for a feature. It ranges from replacement with the average, most frequent value, replacement with a random value, or removing the complete row. The choice may vary from case to case. Today, we will choose to remove the rows containing the missing values. This will not affect our future data mining tasks. After selecting it, you can close the window. Let's have a quick check in the data table, and we are good. No more missing values. To confirm it, you can also check on a new data info widget connected to the preprocessor. You can also save your data to your computer with the Save Data widget. It's best to save the data in orange native tab format since it automatically happens header annotations for attributes. Click on save and let's call the file Titanic full cleaned tab. Now our data is all set for the analysis. In this video, we've learned how to prepare the data adjust which feature is considered a class attribute, and to deal with the missing values. Thank you for your attention, and ciao!